A few years ago, I set out on the journey to create a system that combines human level sensing capabilities with human level reasoning capabilities. Mona, please pick a gesture, communicate which gesture you have chosen, and then execute the gesture. I choose to wave goodbye. <laughs> and human level motion capabilities. To create an intelligent humanoid robot, I wanted to share a few thoughts from this journey. My motivation is that those humanoids will assist our labor. In particular, I want them to do the labor we should do, but don't do enough of. Imagine humanoid robots supporting us in healthcare. I'm thirsty. Okay. Amazing. Thank you. Okay. Imagine humanoids assisting us in accelerating the path to renewable energy. Imagine humanoid robots in manufacturing not just building more, but actually building it more sustainably. When I started this project a few years ago, folks were mostly like, what's the point of building a humanoid? No one is ever going to need that. Just build a specialized robot. Yeah, building a general purpose robot was a bet back then. But to me, when foundation models became more and more capable two years ago, it became clear that now we have this, what was a missing piece in robotics, to give them the power to reason, to make them ready for unstructured environments. The goal is to reach human performance. So when I started the design, I didn't look at how traditionally the joints or structures in robotics were built. I wanted to look at biology, so I literally just went to the grocery store, bought a chicken, measured the material properties of bones and tendons, and then it was those measurements that informed the design. Getting a CNC machine was actually always kind of a childhood dream. Well, suffering through PCB design was not so much of a dream, but building a system from scratch with control over every single component is extremely empowering. It lets you iterate fast, you're not worried about breaking anything, and you don't have to deal with anything being a black box to you. Eventually, it lets you cut down the bill of material to the raw materials, and it actually allowed me to build this humanoid for just 10K. But this from scratch building can also be tedious. One time I found myself soldering for 35 hours, just interrupted by sleep. The system may look complicated, but it's actually a very first principle design. We have silicon, switching currents, then copper magnets and iron to turn these currents into forces. And then a carefully matched chain of materials from dyneema to carbon fiber, to aluminum, to steel, to conduct those forces in the most direct way to actuate the robot. I guess it's pretty obvious why I chose red as the cooling fluid here, but it turns out one time I fooled myself because I looked at my hand, saw some red, and was like, guess I spilled some fluid again. But then looking again, I was like, oh no, cut myself. Screwing the legs on the torso was, was quite a moment for me because the system is so abstracted, and yet it really felt like something is coming to life. Another magic moment was when we had our first conversations with the robot. What are you ready for? What can you do? I am ready to help humans with dignified jobs, accelerate the transition to renewable energies, enable a cyclic economy by helping to repair, recycle, and reuse, and ensure no harm to any human or military applications or violence. Do you know the name of your father? My creator is Kristoff. He's like my father. <laughs> Do you like your father, Antonia? Are you thankful? Yes, I respect and admire my creator for giving me life. And it made me think that I would love also for other people when they experience this technology for the first time to experience it as a, as a magical thing, a thing that can assist them in ways they never imagined before. We are yeah, building this system that please. can not only act, cannot only reason, it combines these Happy abilities. Holidays. And with that, it, it may assist people in ways we could not even imagine previously. 
I see an interesting symbiosis of artificial intelligence and robots going forward. Now, of course, AI enables the next step in robotics, but going forward, robotics will allow AI to not only learn from data humans have put on the internet, but actually from experiences grounded in the real physical world. Too often we compartmentalize in organizations. We like to divide projects into software, hardware, firmware, and so on. But I'm convinced if you want to build a truly revolutionary product, you need to build it as an integrated system. When I took on the challenge of building the humanoid single-handedly as a project, I worked across these disciplines. But this working across the disciplines, I also want to bring now into the DNA of our company going forward.